just gonna just no, it's not role play. It's not role play. That's nah, I can't. I can't do a role play today. That's up. Hang is, hang is. There's only so much like genius original art that you can express at one time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I need a wee break. I need a wee break. Yeah. Anyway, here, here you go. I'm just gonna start this recording. Sorry, Derek. Sorry, Derek. Okay. Ah, uh, hey. How are you today? Um, bit of an unusual video this for me. Uh, I was uh, tagged to do a accent tag video, ASMR video, obviously because this is an ASMR channel. I am finding it a wee bit difficult to concentrate right now, so if I'm a bit all over the place, that's why I've got a dodgy ear. I actually can't hear. As I messed it up at the weekend when I went swimming at the beach. So, I might be going to the doctor tomorrow about it, we'll see. But, oddly enough, Beach Whispers tagged me um, to do this video. And it's basically just a bunch of questions in a few words. You have to say, it sounds like she's modified it. She's added in her own. So that's fine. We'll go with it. Um, and I will be looking at my phone, so please forgive me for that. The questions, words are below. I've taken the liberty of adding my own to spice things up. Question number one. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Well, I've never done that. And I think I may have seen it in movies. And I thought, they, I didn't know they did it on the house. I thought they did it like trees and stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, ball grow? Decorating? I don't know. I don't know. What is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? Is that a slater? Like a woodlouse? We call them slaters. Slater. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? That's a good one. You ready? In Scotland, what we call it? Juice. That's right. At least that's what I called it. It may have changed by now. But yeah, Coke, Fanta, Pepsi, 7 Up. We just call them all juice. <laughs> yeah. Now that I've lived away from Scotland for quite a while, it does seem ridiculous calling it juice, but that's what we call it. What do you call gym shoes? Trainers. Trainers. What do you say to a great? What do you say to address a group of people? I suppose it depends on whether they're people you know or not, or whether you're the boss or you're just a friend. But it could be. How you um how you lads lads and lasses or eight troops it's a good one say that for a laugh or eight troops one um don't really say that much in Canada though they'd look at me a bit funny if I said that here you lot well I do say that to my my wife and kids, right use, moan. So maybe right use, right use. What do you call the kind of spider 
or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs. I'm assuming that's referring to what I would call a daddy long legs. I think. Um, what do you call your grandparents? My grandparents died when I was very young, so I didn't really call them anything. But if I was to call them something, it would probably just be Granny and Granda. Granny, Gran. I think. What do you call the weird contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? So that would either be a, a basket for carrying it or a trolley. Trolley. What do you call it when the rain falls while the sun is shining? I don't know. I don't know. I'm useless at this. Um, a rain squall? A shower? I don't know. I don't know. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? I would have two names. Typically in a daily use it would just be the remote. A remote. But sometimes I'll call it the doofa. Chucky's the doofa. Or the clicker. Ah, yeah. oh, these are the bonus beach questions. What do you call round bread rolls? Rolls. What do you call your evening meal? Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, I love the dinner versus supper versus tea debate. Yeah. I confuse my kids with this all the time because I call it dinner now, but I will still accidentally sometimes call it tea. And at lunchtime, when, when we're making them lunch, I'll accidentally call that dinner. So it could be dinner and dinner, dinner and tea. But when I was growing up, it would be dinner would be lunchtime. And tea would be uh, dinner time. <laughs> words. Alright, so there's a bunch of words here. Um, does it help if you see the words? I don't think it makes any... Okay, let's just try these words. Ant. That's like an ante. Roof. Root. As in... Uh, you're going to drive a certain route to get somewhere. Wash. Oil. Theatre. Theatre. Yeah, that doesn't sound at all like looks. Theatre. Theatre. Iron would be iron. Salmon. Salmon. Caramel. Fire. Water. Not water. Water. Almost like what are. Sure. Data. Not data. Ruin. Crayon. 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 New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. Pecan. Both, both, both. Ah, I see both, B-O-T-H. I would sometimes say both, B-O-F. It's quite common for a lot of Scots to, to do the old F thing instead of the T-H. The old uh, First Master of Scotland, Alex Salmon, does, does it all the time. Both. So I feel like it's legit. Again. I need to do that again, or I'm going to scalp you in the look. Again, again. Oh, this is a good one. Probably. So, probably. I never say probably. 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 I say, uh, probably. <laughs> lazy, really lazy is probably. Or maybe probably. Probably. Never probably. 
spit an image. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon. Coupon's a good one, because if you're from the west side of Scotland, this is your coupon, your face. So, you know, you might be like, man, this guy last night was absolutely steaming, tried to hit me in the coupon with his beer. But he missed. Or, you know, I was in late for the pub and the wife walked right up to me and slapped me in the coupon. Coupon. She slapped his right in the coupon. But I'm not fate of Glasgow, so I, I don't, I'm not an authority on that. It's just, it's just what I've heard. Mayonnaise. Syrup. Pajamas. Cot. I just realised I'm going to put all these in the description so you can follow along. Pajamas. Cot. Naturally. 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 Hmm. Aluminium. Aluminium. Envelope. Envelope. Bonus beach words. This is just beach. Beach the ditties. Beach whispers ditties. Literally. Literally. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Bath. Basil. Oregano. Garlic. And murder. That's it. So, there you go. Um, I suppose I have to think about who to tag. Oh, I'll figure something out. But, uh, I hope uh, this video, it's extremely long runtime of somewhere in a region of 15 minutes will be a reasonably satisfying filler episode in uh, Muzz season 4 wait would this be season 3? I've had my channel for about 3 and a half years so I'm halfway through season four. That's so, yeah. So this is this is like because of the pandemic, the writers are on strike. Um, the writers kind of go to work. So this is your filler episode. Yeah. And uh, I really hope that he's all hanging in there and keeping. Nice and calm and relaxed as best you can. I know it's hard. And I've got a funny feeling the end of 2020 is going to be quite exciting. Hopefully in a good way, not in a bad way. Time will tell. So let's just uh, stay positive, right? We can get through it. Oh yes, together. And uh, I have uh, a wee idea for my next my next video, which should be coming out on Sunday. So keep a wee eye out for that. I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm confident as long as this ear doesn't bother me anymore, I'll get it all done. Take care. Have a good day or a good night or a good morning or wherever you are. Remember to take time for yourself.